Thank you for choosing Breathing Color. Chances are you have come to Breathing Color because you have heard about the quality of our media or you're simply looking to see if there's another product that will improve the quality or maybe even lower the cost of your current inkjet prints. Whatever the case may be, this video is designed to help assist you with the evaluation process of Breathing Color Media to ensure that you achieve the best possible results and perform a thorough and accurate comparative analysis to make the best decision for your business. If you haven't done so already, the first step is to purchase a trial roll from Breathing Color of the product or products that you're interested in testing. We typically offer 17 inch wide by 20 foot long sample rolls specifically for the evaluation process and basically sell these at cost to help your evaluation process be as simple and affordable as possible. Keep in mind that we will include a free sample pack with your first order with us. This sample pack will contain printed samples of our entire line of inkjet media. You will be able to discern the look and feel of each product as you hold it in your hand. Additionally, because these samples are printed, each will give you a general idea of how well our products should perform on your printer. This step requires your full attention to detail because one mistake could cause you to run a bad print and leave you feeling disappointed when that should not be the case. Now, let's get your printer ready to make your first evaluation print. In this demonstration, we are using an Epson 4800. Although it's not necessary, we recommend wearing cotton gloves when handling high-end inkjet media to avoid damaging the paper with the oils from your skin. When loading your printer, handle the roll very carefully as fine art quality media is susceptible to scuffing and abrasion. After loading the roll onto your printer, be sure to set the head height or platen gap to its widest setting to prevent head strikes on your print and or the collection of loose debris inside your printer. When this happens, your print might look scuffed, shiny, or even have white voids where the ink was unable to lay down because it actually printed onto the debris and not the surface of the paper. This setting is typically recommended for heavyweight fine art papers and canvases. Please note that some printer models might not have an adjustable head height. Next, if your printer has an auto cut feature, make sure that it is turned off. For heavyweight canvas and fine art paper, the onboard cutter may create more dust and loose debris in your printer over time. We typically recommend using a straight edge razor blade to cut the print directly off of the roll. Now that your roll is loaded properly, let's go back to the computer to set up the print job. If you haven't done so already, you will need to visit the Breathing Color website to retrieve the appropriate printer settings for the specific product that you are printing on. Once this print is complete, cut it off of the roll and set it aside and allow the ink to cure. It should be noted that while the print appears to be dry almost immediately after printing, the recommended curing time is a full 24 hours. After the print has cured and the results look good, go ahead and move on. After the print has cured and the results are unacceptable, retrace your steps to ensure that you have selected all the appropriate settings and try again. Now is a good time to reference the sample pack that was included with your first order and compare the samples against your first print. If you have triple checked and are 100% positive you have followed all the steps correctly and the results are still unacceptable, please review our instructional videos or contact Breathing Color to speak with one of our experienced technical support representatives for further assistance. If Inkjet Canvas is the media that you are evaluating, such as Live, Chromata, or 800M Canvas, we highly recommend ordering a pint of our Timeless water-based laminate along with a foam roller kit. Timeless can be applied by brush or HVLP spray. We recommend a foam roller if you are brand new to the lamination process. Now because lamination is imperative for the durability and long-term stability of any canvas print, we highly recommend that all inkjet canvas be coated with a post-print protective laminate. While lamination is sometimes an undesirable added step in the printmaking process, we feel that it is a vital component for any quality driven printmaker as lamination will protect your canvas prints from moisture, abrasion, oxidation, and corner cracking when stretched. Remember, unlike prints made on fine art paper, which are typically framed behind UV protective glass, canvas prints are fully exposed to the environment and human mistakes. Now, after the 24 hour cure time from printing, Laminate your canvas prints following either the written instruction or video tutorial on breathingcolor.com. 
Furthermore, it is generally recommended to allow a full 24 hour dry time for the lamination as well. If fine art paper is the media that you are evaluating, laminating might pertain to you as well. As previously noted, traditional inkjet paper prints are displayed behind glass to protect the sensitive inks and inkjet surface. Timeless matte, in particular, allows you to provide a virtually invisible shield of protection over your print, allowing open-faced framing or floating mats. Coding techniques and guidelines for this process can be found on our website. Now, let's discuss how to compare the performance of our media with other available products on the market. We encourage you to do this to fully understand and experience the elite standing of the Breathing Color product line. Typically, printed media can be compared in three ways. Visual print quality, such as what your naked eye sees. Measurable print qualities, such as DMAX, color gamut, and other values that can be scientifically measured. And finally, other factors that affect the print quality, such as print permanence and optical brightener additives. Let's start with the visual print quality. This is the easiest category to scrutinize. Visual print quality means just that. What can you see? If you are comparing breathing color media against another brand, you are looking to visibly determine which substrate reproduces each color with more saturation, vibrancy, and uniformity. Does one substrate pop more than the others? Do your blacks look denser? The colors appear richer? Also compare the resolution or sharpness in the detailed areas of your image. Does one print look crisper or clearer than another? Next is measurable print quality. Because visual print quality is a subjective analysis, one can obtain an objective analysis by using instruments to measure. For example, a spectrophotometer will measure overall color gamut, or the amount of colors a substrate is able to reproduce. A densitometer is another instrument that will measure ink density, or Dmax. The numerical readings provide objective comparisons. We appreciate that not everyone will have these instruments at their disposal, but it's helpful to know that Breathing Color uses all of these available instruments when developing our media to deliver our promise of technical superiority. Last but not least are the other factors that affect print quality. The main topic here is longevity, otherwise known as archivability. So you have a print on canvas and it looks great coming out of your printer. That's great, but just how long is it going to stay looking that good? Could it start fading? cracking or turning yellow after a few years, months, or maybe even days? How would you really know? The truth is, there is only one way you would know, and that's if the media has been longevity tested by an accredited laboratory. Sadly, many products are being marketed and sold today as fine art quality, which implies that the material can be trusted to last a long time and encourages expensive images to be printed and sold on it even though the material has actually never once been tested for longevity. At Breathing Color, we take print permanence very seriously. Before any fine art product is released, it undergoes two stages of testing. First, we test the product internally with our own advanced longevity testing equipment. Then, to uphold our findings, we obtain archival certification for each fine art product from a third-party accredited laboratory. This approach allows our customers to have incredible confidence in the Breathing Color brand. We even offer archival quality certificates for each product, which can easily be downloaded from our website, and you are free to use these for your business purposes. For more information on our scientific approach to product development and what to look for when comparing the image quality of your own prints, refer to the Print Quality Evaluation section at breathingcolor.com. All in all, the most important thing to keep in mind is that your prints are the face of your business, and the better the art looks, the better it sells. This is why we here at Breathing Color take great pride and go to extreme lengths to innovate products that will give you the absolute finest print quality available. Products that will set you apart, products that will provide you with advantages. We recognize that whether you are an artist, photographer, photo lab, or print studio, choosing which substrate you will print on is one of the most important decisions you will make. We sincerely hope that this video has helped you make that best decision for your business. Thank you for choosing Breathing Color.